Hey, good morning. Welcome to Squawking 1200. Uh, today we are starting, uh, continuing on with our flight of Norway. We are situated at Stafsberg. E N H A. Um, we have World Traffic 3, which is generating a lot of takeoff traffic. Uh, it's pretty neat. I think I'm just going to make a quick hop down to ENGM. Echo November Gulf Mike. We're back in the Airfoil Labs 172. We did a little bit of um, Piper Tripacer last night. Did a pretty long flight, about a two hour two hour trip. Let's see, this is set, that's set. Get the GPS rigged up. Two, direct. It's gonna be somewhat casual today. No, yes. All right, we're gonna head over to Oslo. Judging by the smoke coming off the plane, that's the direction of the wind. Uh, the wind sock kind of confirms that up here above the tower. All right, let's see. GPS set. Plenty of fuel. I think I'm going to talk to my mom for a second. <laughs> hey, can you take this water bottle for me? Alright, thanks. Alright, got rid of my water bottle that I had from the last flight. Didn't appreciate the, uh, <laughs> she didn't appreciate getting pelted with rocks. Hey, fellow Cessna 172 coming in. Nice. All I'd even do is reset, um, when I get to the end of the runway, reset the world traffic so that I have uh, Echo November Gulf Mike as my destination. We have some weather turned on in here. We have some uh, rain. So hopefully we'll get some rain effects on the uh, windshield. Alright. World traffic setup. We are going to Echo November Golf Mike. Check the time. It is 12.18. So we're going to go 12. 20. And it's probably not going to take that long. Generate. Ooh, there's a bunch of ground route, that's good. Which means that there should be a bunch of traffic at our destination. Once you generate the taxi routes in World Traffic 3, once you do it once, uh, it becomes faster after that. Alright, and almost there. Six more, five more, two more ground routes, and done. All right. 
do a little run up here. Little drop, that's good. That was a pretty big drop. I think I'm going to, uh... Oof. Airport grounds wet. We're standing on the brakes. So we're just going for it. Lightning light, taxi light. And off we go into the wild blue yonder. Do a 180 here. This is fantastic scenery. Recommended by Fisherman with the Beard yesterday. We've got a nice Norwegian day here. Um, one degree Celsius. That means it's probably going to snow. Can't tell if that's snow or rain. Go around this antenna here. Make sure we have plenty of clearance. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, right there. That's good. Uh, the weather definitely took um, a pretty significant hit on the frames. I'd say I lost about 10 to 12 frames with the weather cranked up. Could be because also I'm generating a little bit more uh, world traffic than I have, and I'm going to a bigger airport. That could be eating up some of the frames. I double checked and made sure Windows Defender was off. Everybody knows that's my pet peeve. That thing just, even with exceptions typed in, um, all right, we'll go, uh, throw on the autopilot. Nav mode and I'm just going to take it up to 3,000 feet. Got to check my OBS settings here. And coming up on altitude and hold. OBS looks like it's working fine. No, I can't figure out. Uh, there we go. If that's because of the tailwind, we're getting such a uh, such a push in the indicated airspeed. And let's give a time check. Oh, 20 minutes. 15 and change. Oh, that's pretty quick. Uh, maybe I might even get in a second flight. Trying a new thing with, uh, if you weren't in the chat yesterday, called Chatty. It's actually a little bit easier way to uh, see who comes in and out of chat.
contact Boston Center, 118.42. I'm going to go up. I'm going to avoid some of this terrain. No need to climb at that much of a rate, but we'll start there. Bring it up to 5,000. I don't even think we'll... Could we get 5,000? I don't know if we even get to 5,000 by the time our top of descent, really. And altitude pull. Lean out the engine a little bit here. And yeah, twenty frames. Um, even though that we're not currently under a weather advisory. I'm just going to go double check Defender and make sure that thing didn't go back on. It did not. So I'm pretty much going to attribute the low frame rates. I have everything in Norway jacked up. This kills everything. Um, If I lower reflections, we, I'm sure we would increase the frame rate. Um, but I'm averaging um, over 30 without uh, the heavy weather. It's the uh, rain weather engine that's built into the sim that's causing a pretty big reduction. We'll see how the frames are impacted upon landing. trying to find a sweet spot for that exhaust gas temperature but it's not seemingly wanting to, to come up I don't know if I really lean it out if that all all right starting to come up a little bit um, yeah I got the pedo heat on today minus two degrees we're in for some icing conditions this could be one of those um, Squawking 1200 first, squawking VFR. I mean, even though we're not technically in a VFR type of day, I wouldn't want to fly an aircraft under these conditions in real life. What? 35 nautical miles. Raises it up now. See, if, nope, that actually lowered it. Any more leaning, this plane's going to have no fuel. Kind of steady there.
See if it levels off again. My ground speed, we're move we are moving. We're going 120. Indicated is about 115. It's from the tailwind. So I got a couple I moved my right hat switch to change to a couple different views. Um, I can only attribute the extra exhaust look um, that I wasn't getting in the airfoil labs due to the temperature. That's where we left. Uh, that's the runway view. I thought I had circle around view. Maybe this is circle. Yeah, there we go. I love the paint scheme in this. That's a pretty cool view for a screenshot. Back in the aircraft. I think. There you go. Get that crazy little wind noise burst. Um. Yeah, definitely we're in, uh, in some icing conditions here. I don't know if that's fully simulated in the airfoil labs. If it would actually show up on the wings. I don't know if that's modeled in any of the uh, aircraft. I, I don't think I've re really read that where you can actually see ice on the wings. Looks like about eight minutes, seven, seven minutes or less. I gotta do a quick test here on the So I just had to check the chat from my Twitch account, making sure everything's looking really good. It's kind of interesting. I have it set to heavy weather, I believe, heavy generation. Yeah, I have it on heavy. Uh, which I would think that would mean st more steady. Seems like I get a burst of like 
two minutes of precipitation and then not and then precipitation and then not Yeah, everything's looking good on the uh, gauges here. Vacuum, amps are charging, temperature's cool, pressure's in the green, plenty of fuel in the tanks. I was trying to set up a uh, fuel selector switching on my CH Eclipse and it wouldn't do it. Then I tried to set it up as a keyboard shortcut, trying to use the racket keys, you know, select left tank, select select right tank. Still couldn't get it to, to go, um, so I'm not sure um, if that's a bug in the system. And I tried it with the, the airfoil labs and I also tried it with the default Cessna. No go. It's going to make for a fun landing today. Yeah, the CPU and GPU are both working pretty hard. Almost dead. Up to the 5. That's cool stuff on the window there. I'll take that. We're just going to pretend we're in the Millennium Falcon. That looks like our airport right there. All right, prepare the cabin. Autopilot off, full, rich, fuel pump on, landing light on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a left downwind. Not hearing a lot from the uh, X plane realistic with this, so it's probably not rain. Um, maybe we can check it and see if there's a snow snow setting. Snow wouldn't make all that much noise, I don't think, as it hits the aircraft. But minus two, um, it sure ain't raining. Hey, there goes a friend of ours off the front there, right at 12 o'clock and climbing. This is supposed to be a 3D airport. Why some of this... Why I don't get autogen... I'm not really sure. Drop down to some pattern altitude here.
No, I'm just using a uh, 1080 card. I have 32 gigs of RAM, um, but it's just a GTX 1080. Welcome to the chat this morning. Continuing on with my tour of Norway here. Looks like we got some patchy stuff all over the runway. World Traffic 3. Got a guy departing the runway there. No auto-generated buildings though. It's driving me a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's uh, that question actually came to my mind this morning because next to my PC I actually have a Macintosh tower, and I was wondering if I could run my um, OBS Streamlabs, the chatty chat stuff with the Mac, and just take off a couple of resources and just have an independent monitor and keyboard for that. This is like still like 1980s like generated patchy snow. That's hilarious. I'm sure Austin has it in his game plan. Not the near game plan, but in the long game plan. Alright, everything's looking good. So you gotta find a extended center line of the runway. Why are those trees? Uh, the GPS map, it's pilot to ATC. Um, if you're looking for a really good one, I have not streamed it yet, but Little Nav Maps. Really cool. I just started getting into it probably three weeks ago with one of the earlier releases and then I what didn't have time to get to it um, but they just had an update the other day uh, little nav maps try that one if you don't want to invest in pilot to ATC uh, but just strictly for a moving map um, and it's got a ton of features in it S stuff that I didn't even you know really crack the surface Yeah, if I had uh, a bunch of money and I could afford like a four flight subscription, maybe I'd do that, but um, I think for free. Yeah, I'll see if I can find the link for a uh, little nav map. Let me just set this thing down here. Uh, below 80, second notch of flaps. Retrim the aircraft. Yeah, the little nav map is uh, kind of some independent guy just seemingly made it for fun, um, but it's it's got a ton of features. Um, like I said, I didn't even really get it; haven't had a chance to really scratch the surface. Not sure um, if 
by who? I think Wycliffe Barrett did a review on it too. That's maybe where I heard it the first time. So World Traffic 3 is looking good right there. Got a couple guys ready to take off. Got somebody that just landed it looks like. Turn off the power. Hold the center line here. Try to correctly time. Oh no, I have not tried that yet. I thought maybe that was you were thinking little nav map was that was like the developer's name. Good landing. So I'm gonna look up uh Arovi too. Let's get myself uh to the parking. Uh, should I say to the uh, general aviation ramp? This is driving me crazy that there's no autogen buildings here. Okay, so it's a four flight alternative. Ooh, that might be fun. Alright, let's see. Fix that. Parking brake. Alright, let me see if I can find little nav map. Where did... Oh, my chrome is like hidden below here. Oh, this airport and scenery, um, this is should be the default um, scenery, but I got a great tip yesterday from Fisherman with a Beard. Um, I don't know if I have the link, um, but it is, I think it's Tom Nudson scenery. Got it from the org, and the, the two airports are Echo November Sierra Delta in Echo November Hotel Alpha. I think they're connected. Yeah, here, this is the link to Little Nav Map. Copy. Hey, Jim, welcome to the chat. Yeah, here's a, somebody did a video, um, for a little nav map here, a YouTube. Hey, Maculite, welcome to the chat. Just uh, exchanging a couple of little things here uh, with Mega Masks, um, little program called Little Nav Map. And then I'm going to look up uh, Arovi. That's one of the cool things about the com the uh, the community. Uh, 
Okay, so this is a full electronic flight bag. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. For anybody else that wants to take a look at um, Mega Mass is using it kind of as a four flight, you know, different type of four flight, which I think more people have been familiar with. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can uh, pull up my... Where did I put little nav map? There it is. And... Get rid of this. Little nav map right here. Um, hey Jim, welcome to the chat. So this is it's a flight planner. Um, it it had so many things I couldn't even like. It was almost hard to wrap my head around it, but it seemed to do everything that pilot to ATC. Hey Macio Light One Eleven, nice to meet you. Welcome to the chat. Um, so it has all your your aircraft data. It has all the frequencies, similar to what I've seen in like the four flights, the pilot to ATC. This doesn't control your air air traffic, um, but it definitely is like an amazing planning software. Here's a, like a little experimental one that I did in my area, just kind of like a point to point. Um, there's a way to search all your airports. Uh, it's something that I have not had a lot of time to spend on this, uh, but right here shows like my top of descent. This might this I think it all, it totally tracks you. I'm trying to remember how to uh, Select the start position for departure. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Now uh, seventy bucks. Um, Got to try to see if this will do something similar, and if it's free. <laughs> This interface for me, it's not um, super. That's super easy. I have not tried G Plan. I haven't really tried too many of the planners. Take a look at G Plan. VFR planning for Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane. Wow, I got a lot of homework to do. Geez, thanks, Mega Mass. Now I got a, I got a bunch of more stuff to do. <laughs> local X-Plane Simulator. I think, let's see if this connects me. I changed my X-Plane location. 
since I started this. Trying to see where, um, my connect to simulator. Connect automatically. Let's see if it sees it. Not G plane. This is looking really super cool. Looks like a similar to a little nav map, but um, like an almost an easier interface. So let's see, I'll book this one, bookmark this one, open, Avelisoft. This one doesn't say X plane. But no, I'm definitely going to have some homework to look into these. Uh, you know, I've been doing my flight planning within pilot to ATC. And that's been that's been pretty good and it does control gives me um, air traffic control and it's eventually going to interface and integrate with uh, world traffic 3 so it'll control me and it should control um, the arrivals and departures so it's kind of like a cool offline solution Control Shift C. Maybe I am connected, but I'm not in my airport. That could be my issue. So let me see. Try to find a different airport. I'm going to search for... So I lost my chat. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Where was I? I am, uh... I don't, didn't write this one down. I can have a golf mic. Yeah, no, I'm going to check them all out, because yeah, maybe it is time to, like, look into, you know, either, like, something like Little Nav Map to do more, um, when I, you know, do some Batsim Pilot Edge type of things. And then I think the offline solution still seems like Pilot to ATC. 
Yeah, G plan. That looks really good for 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 zero cost. Trying to figure out how to clear this stuff out. This says I'm not connect they're not connected to the simulator. It's weird. I'm a little simpler than this. <laughs> That's that. That's fine. But how do I get rid of the flight plan? Flight plan. New flight plan. Uh, now I'm all screwed up. <laughs> no. Alright, so that, wow, there's my map. Let's see if this does this. Hmm. Yeah, this is some of the things that I'm going to have to, I don't want to take up a ton of time searching to and trying to discover with you guys I just need a quick like tutorial on this flight plan from here how do I add another airport Ah, just going kind to of mess around. Well, that's kind of like today's tour of Norway. That's kind of like the the gist of what I've what I've been doing the last uh, couple of days, just flying around Norway. Um, see, I don't have that link from yesterday from the org. Let me see if I can find that for this scenery.
I think it was a world to X plane scenery, actually. Yeah, this one right here, alright. It is a world to X plane. Hey, pineapple juice, welcome. It was this one. Pretty much I downloaded the just the scenery. I didn't do the ortho because I already had ortho uh, generated for Norway. Uh, you d I don't know if you have a lot of the um, libraries, but I had all these libraries already in and it just kind of popped up and just ran. I don't think there's anything else that I did with that. Yeah, no, definitely. The the flight planners are are certainly welcome. Um, I have them bookmarked, and I'm going to take a look at 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 all of them. Um, you know, just to kind of. I think once you kind of understand the workings of one or two of them, uh, you'll get a sense of. I'll get a sense of what what's going to work best for me and how how I want to run things. Um, yeah, so no, thanks. I want to check the traffic radar. World traffic, sometimes it works beautifully, sometimes... Actually, I'm going to my golf, golf mic. What the other way, right? Yeah, so that's what it's supposed to, uh, for anybody that hasn't tried world traffic. This is all the traffic that's flying around uh, currently in Norway. I have a little ground shake there, but it might be from a noisy joystick. Eh, maybe not. Um, so yeah, pretty much anybody, um, pineapple juice, maculite, I pretty much I stream uh, typically mornings, East Coast US time. I'm uh, mostly just general aviation, really just kind of kind of stream for f for fun, a little bit of uh, procedural stuff, but but not too much. I'm still learning it all. Some days it's as simple as pattern work, and other days it's just out looking at VFR scenery. Some days it's been flight sim economy. Uh, but I think as a community, I think the flight sim is growing, and I think the more channels and more options that we have, uh, you know, the more will be recognized. Probably hopefully pulling my idea would be more, you know, as many developers as possible and make uh, aviation really what it should be. Um, you know, my kids play Rocket League and League of Legends and I'm just trying to encourage, you know, get into something, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more real, a little bit, um, you know, something that's, it, that's a different level of study you know, there's strategy in all those games. Um, there's there's a lot of memorization of move sets and uh, which is all which are great things. But I think that um, I'm trying to get them to a little bit more thoughtful level. And I think this is I may eventually suck them into into the world of flight simulation. I'm out of time for today. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Typically I can't stream on Thursdays or Fridays. So I'm not sure when I'll be back. Um, so I just want to thank everyone for coming by the chat. I'm going to upload this uh, to YouTube for what it's worth. Uh, at least the first part uh, was 
actually flying a little bit of weather. Um, Megamass, thanks. Thanks, Maculate111 and Pineapple7 for hanging out with me today. And I'm out of here.